I'm Lachie Bird. We just talked about metabolic syndrome, and now we're going to talk about how we can model it in Drosophila. Oh, hi, my name is Jenny Hill, and today I'm going to show you how we use different diets in Drosophila to mimic metabolic syndrome in humans. Uh, the different diets that we are using is fructose, which represents high sugar, and we use fructose because it is the sugar that we most commonly as humans interact with in our diet. We use coconut oil as our high fat, and we use peptone as our high protein, and cornmeal as our control. Alright, so the first step is to measure all the ingredients that you need for the food. So here we have auger that we've already measured out using the balance beam, and it's right here. So after you measure all your ingredients out, the best thing to do is to label just to make sure you don't get them confused. Because well, as you can see, we have two different forms of auger, but they're different measurements. Here we had we used the coconut oil and we also used the fructose and these were all measured using this balance beam earlier. So the first thing you want to do after you've collected all of your ingredients is label all of your beakers. So since we have 10% fructose, I've already labeled the beaker, and you just put both the fructose and the auger into the beaker. Sometimes it sticks a little bit, so you might have to use a paintbrush or your fingers. And then after the dry ingredients are put in together, you will use depending on how much of the food you're making. For this one, it's going to be five milliliters of water. And after you put everything together, you just stir it until it becomes like a jello-like consistency. And it doesn't take very long at all. After it's mixed together fairly well, you want to take your tube that your fly will be in and once again make sure that it's labeled. And then just take some of the food and put it in there. However, the flies do stick to the food, so all the food on the side, you want to push it down as far in as you can so that the flies don't get stuck. And there you go. And then after, you want to make sure to put the cotton on top of the tube just in case any flies are roaming around and to prevent the flies from entering. Alright, so right now we're going to go over one of the more difficult ingredients, which is coconut oil. As you all know, co coconut oil, since it is oil, does not mix well with water. So for this, we will actually use hot water. Make sure to talk to your teacher about how you guys are obtaining this hot water, whether it's microwaving it or just using an electric kettle. So what you first want to do, as previously before, is mix the coconut oil first and put, place it in the beaker with the auger. And then using the hot water, and be careful not to burn yourself, measure out five milliliters for this specific measurement of coconut oil food that we are making. And then you just want to mix it together once again until it reaches a gel-like consistency. 
and make sure to get the coconut oil as it is very hard to mix with the water. There you go.